Are you making writing a whole lot more difficult than it needs to be? This is Terry Dean from MyMarketingCoach.com where you earn more, work less, and enjoy life. And what I found is most people, they sit down at blank pages, they try to write something out. This could be content for your blog, it could be content for an email, it doesn't matter what type of content we're talking about here. Most people have the blank page blues where they're just sitting there trying to crank something out instead of doing what they should be doing, which is listening to the audience. Listen to the audience first and then produce your materials. Now, there's a lot of ways you can listen to the audience. You can go over to Amazon and look at the reviews of books in your market. And of course, these reviews aren't about you, but the reviews are going to reveal problems that people have in the market. They're also going to reveal the kind of information that people say you know they like. If they're five star in a book or they're four star in a book, it means it has the information they like and they'll often tell you what type of information they were looking for. Same thing on the low, low reviews. They're going to be telling you why they didn't like the book because what it was missing, that's the kind of content you need to be writing about. Um, we do the same thing over at TweetGrid where you can set up um, and watch as people tweet where people constantly all day long are telling you exactly what they're thinking. And I'm going to show you another strategy here, which is to go to forums and look at what people are saying on forums. Let's go over to um, let's go to the Warrior Forum since uh, I'm in the internet marketing field. And in the Warrior Forum, let's actually go to the main discussion board. And we're at the main discussion board here. I want to show you a little trick that you can do here. See how we have the replies and the views over here? Now these up here are the are the threads that have been sticky, so they're stuck to the top. We're not going to look at those. We're going to look at the ones below this. But we can go and we can look at all the replies. If we click the replies button, we're going to order all the posts by the ones with the most replies. And so look at this is the kind of information. This one has 1,500 replies. Offline marketers, what services are you offering for monthly fees? What services are you offering for monthly fees? Offline marketers, look, Amazon affiliates, are you seriously making money? No, that, that's a perfect title for an email. Amazon affiliates, are you making money? Are you seriously making money? Or how about this one? I've even ran an email with this exact title before. What to do if you're desperate? That's the perfect title and subject to get started with. How the clueless throw away their money. All very popular posts. See, these are giving you exact ideas that you could use for blog content or for emails or whatever else you're writing. And so you get the idea from this and then you could also read through the post and get additional ideas. You don't want to copy any of these words here, but you're going to get a lot of ideas for your own writing and what concepts to go with. Let's go to views. Okay, so we could order by views. Hey, look, some of the same ones are up here. There's what to do if you're desperate. It's one of the top views also. Matter of fact, most of these are the same ones. Okay, free online signature creator. Get that pro look in minutes. Okay, we got the same ones here. Where is my Facebook URL? <laughs> look, that, that's like a big problem. Grr, where is my Facebook URL? I can see that as a really strong subject line in email. Teaching people how to find their Facebook URLs. All the types of concepts you can have. So let's actually, I want to show you the strategy in another market. Let's choose bodybuilding. Okay, so in bodybuilding, one of the big websites is bodybuilding.com. So if you wanted to help people build their bodies, then you go to bodybuilding.com. You can see they have a lot of different categories. So we could choose by what category we want to do more information on. Um, how about nutrition? Let's go to everything related to proper nutrition. Okay, so they have some additional categories we can go into. Um, let's go down to here, the main category. Okay, you can see they have a lot of sticky posts here. And then we come down to here, with, so it's quite a distance before we get to the unsticky post. But let's do the same strategy, replies. All right, replies. And you'll see we got 8,000 replies. Look, meals eating now 15. So that means that there's been 14 other posts like this about what meals they're eating now. The trials of an antibiotic diet. Okay, one meal a day, amazed. Again, doesn't that sound like a perfect subject line? One meal a day, amazed, because it's so contrarian. We can just keep throwing through it. Okay, a guide to intermittent fasting. Um, biggest cheat day or binge you've ever had. Like we can also go to views, do the same thing. And you do notice that this right here, this sticky post, 
has over a million views, 1.2 million views, calculating calorie and micronutrient needs. Are you noticing this also, how many views are here? Now, the Warrior Forum is one of the busiest forums in internet marketing, and everybody starts thinking, hey, I should be in internet marketing, because that's what everybody talks about. But you notice how many more views these posts have? Things like a million. Let's go back to the internet forum, and let's see what we got here. And this is just in the nutrition section. We've got 135,000 is one of the highest here. So just in nutrition alone, for bodybuilders, we have almost 10 times as many posts showing how much bigger this market is just for bodybuilders. That's not even talking overall nutrition and health. But let's scroll down. So we got things like calculate calorie and macronutrients. We can just scroll through here and see that I'm only going through and looking at the titles here. You could also go into the post, read a whole lot more information, get a whole bunch of ideas just by doing this. And again, all you're doing is you're going to them, hitting the replies or the views, bringing up pretty similar posts for either one. And you're getting all kinds of ideas so that you're not sitting there looking at a blank page anymore. It's as simple as that. You can use forums for this. As I said, I use TweetGrid sometimes. I use Amazon. There's so many ways to get ideas. There's no excuse to sit there with the blank page blues.